Welcome back to Lion Never Dancer. So today, we're going to make some meatloaf. This will be so fun. So right now in my bowl, I have some ground turkey. I'm just going to break it up a little bit. And then to this, I'm going to add some basil. Creole seasoning. Pepper. Italian style breadcrumbs. I love these breadcrumbs, they're so good. It gives the meat over a little crust. And this is um, a mix you can just get from the store. You can have it on hand. Just the easier way. It's just celery and green bell peppers. And I add this a little bit here. I left it out the freezer a little bit so we can unthaw. Now that's good to go. And last but not least. And then me, I have to give it a little extra taste. Some Worcestershire. Worcestershire, sheer, whatever. And now we just mix all this gooeyness together. You can do ground beef, ground chuck, but we like turkey. Turkey's good. At least for me, anyway. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, this smells so good. The wishes your sauce and the black pepper. Oh my goodness. And that's it. It's not a whole lot of this. And you just form it into a, a log and bake it. So let's get our pan ready. Okay, so now we got a pan. I turned the oven on to 400 degrees. And we're going to let this cook for about 20 minutes. It's going to be nice and pretty. Now some people, they, you know, they literally will form it into a log. I don't like doing it just the way it makes my hands feel. So I form it into a log like this. Or this. Although I think this may take a little longer, but nice little tender care to my turkey. This is extra love time. Yes, yeah, so I put it in this big pan. It's all right. Look at that. All the vegetables. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be so good. And then we have mashed potatoes with this and cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, and don't forget our St. Patty's cake. What a great day. And it wouldn't be a night without Glass of wine. A little Moscato, anyway. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. Look at my log. Now we're ready to put it in the oven. Let's put this in the oven. When we come back, be ready. All right, let's start this cornbread. Cornbread is easy to make. I know you can make it from scratch, but let's be realistic. 
we'll just make it from the box. Then it's got a jiffy, jiffy box, milk, and an egg. And um, my style is cooking. I eyeball stuff, so I don't necessarily do measurings. I just eyeball it. And my eyes haven't failed me since. So one egg. And it calls for one third of milk. Eyeball this. Boop. And now we're going to mix it together. And then once you've got the batter of the cornbread all nice and mixed together, everything incorporated, you just let it sit for about three or four minutes. And then we're going to put it, put it in our baking dish. I usually put it in my cupcake pan, but this time I'm going to try something different. Look at that. See? That one third. See, I told you. Eyeballing. So we just stir this until it's all nice incorporated. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. See? Look at it. It's so pretty. So now we just let this sit for three or four minutes and then we put it in our baking dish. And we're going to bake this off. About 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, so now we're just going to let it sit for about three or four minutes. So now I got the cornbread mix in our pan. When you let it sit for three or four minutes, it kind of puffs us up a little bit. So now I got it in the pan. We're going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes and it'll be nice and yummy. And then we're going to have mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are so easy. You just get a pot. Some water, salt, butter, let the water boil. When the water comes to a boil, a boil, turn it off, put the mashed potatoes in there and whip it up. You can add milk if you would like. If you don't, don't add milk. I like to add milk, parsley, and pepper. Best mashed potatoes ever. So now we're going to put this cornbread in the oven for about 10 minutes, 400 degrees. And we're going to have a nice yummy dinner. Let's check on this uh, meatloaf, shall we? Meatloaf is almost done. It has brown crust on the round on the outside of it. Oh, I think this is gonna be so good. Happy Patty's Day! Yay! All right. So the meatloaf is done. The mashed potatoes are done. Cornbread is done. So now all left is to plate it. So now, we're gonna get some nice fork. Go ahead and place this piece of meatloaf on it. And my mashed potatoes, I just added um, milk. Once the water got boiled, I added milk, butter, cheese, parsley, and pepper. And of course, the mashed potatoes. Mix it together. Ooh, it's so good. And then let me get the cornbread. Oh, look at this meal. So good. I gotta try these mashed potatoes. Mmm. So creamy. And now the meat. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Meat oh, so well. Mmm. And that cornbread. Um, this is so good. Stay tuned for next week. Wind out with Erica.